This is a bill that has been introduced before, but this year it has both Democratic and Republican co-sponsors. The mother of the gunman in El Paso called law enforcement three weeks before he went into Walmart and killed 19 people and expressed concern that he had an AK-47. With a red flag law, family members and law enforcement would be able to petition a judge. If the judge finds someone poses an immediate threat to themselves or others, law enforcement could remove their firearms. This is not taking people's guns away without due process. This is temporarily removing people who we think uh, have mental health problems or who are dis displayed violent, disturbing behavior, said things, temporarily removing them from access to firearms. After two weeks, that person could ask the judge for their guns to be returned. We have a real mental health crisis in this state. We have extremely high rates of suicide. And these types of laws have proven that they decrease suicides. Senator Paul Hornback has an A rating from the NRA and says he is making sure the bill has Second Amendment protections. Someone who files a false report, for example, can be charged with a misdemeanor. There are those that will say that it's uh, the camel getting his nose under the tent. Uh, but I don't see it that way. Uh, I, I think... In these times, as, as society changes, I think we have to implement other ways of reaching out and trying to help people. The proposal also has the support of LMPD. We respect everyone's right to bear arms. However, we feel like with everything that has gone on in the country, that something has to be done. Now, the exact language of the bill has not been worked out yet, but the sponsors say it will be pre-filed in time for a November 22nd hearing. In Frankfurt, Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.